Watch you guys, welcome back to the Zeus Daz Eliminator Retro Game Channel, and I go by the name of Zeus. And for this let's play, I'm going to bring you Crazy Cars 2 on the Amiga A500. I think we can all remember the uh, Crazy Cars 1 game, very rough driving game, uh, not particularly impressive. And here comes Crazy Cars 2 a year or two later by Titus Software. And as you can see, starts off with a really, really cool looking title screen and pretty cool uh, loop, uh, music loop actually. Uh, nice uh, Roman numerals too there, as you can see. And probably, sadly, the most impressive part of the game. As I said, lovely, um, lovely colours used on the title screen there. It just looks really smart and it sounds good too. But after that, the game itself, sadly, in stills, pictures, looks very very smart looks very very uh, uh, neat and pretty cool look in the actual game but unfortunately once it starts playing it plays a bit like a dog to be honest with you it's so unplayable it's not even funny um, sorry you can hear a bit of loading here obviously but uh, it doesn't take too long to load the game the trouble is with this game it's also unlike the first game it was a big racer uh, you you was ro racing across certain specific tracks trying to improve your car every four stages you get a new car upgrade well this one um, has got a completely different new car Ferrari F40 and the idea is you have to uh, get to the checkpoint within a certain time while avoiding the police and this is it there you go there's a police car now for you fucking things and the way to find out you press F2 brings you up a map as you can see there now the dot this is the trouble with this game um, it's not the most easiest because he's got two dots there one says start one says finish now obviously in the top flashing dot that's you you'll start so and you've got to get to the finish line so basically I have to take uh, road 15 at the next junction on the right and then you've got to imagine you're driving uh, return um, have the map the other way around because you're driving up the road so then you've got to take the left not the right but you've got to take the left on road 70 and this is where it gets tricky because unfortunately uh, in the corner there where those red digits are I don't know if you can see them they're not very clear very very small and you have very difficulty reading those signs it comes up with the road name so that was a very poor thing uh, which uh, has been displayed. Unlike the speed on the top left hand side, that's very big letters. You see 115 in low gear at the moment. Uh, that little, it should have been displayed on that. You can see it clearly. So you have to keep going back to the map, which is a pain in the ass. But let's get going. I'll wait till that cop car, he's waiting for me, see? Now these are bastards. These cop cars are complete bastards and it's, uh, it's so hard to control. And there we go. Absolute wank control system terrible control system and this copper is determined to get me I wait till he pisses off right now there's the alert the alert's gone that means he's, he's buggered off now so we got to take row 15 on the right which is coming up here whoa see look at that that was absolutely I did my utmost best to steer that to the left and I went straight into a post it controls like a dead dog this thing really bad and it's a shame, you've only got, and there's a fucking cut card, these things, and I've got to take that road. There you go, and I've missed my junction, thanks to that fucking cop car. The only way to do it, I'm probably going to die now anyway, I can't remember if you get lives, but you have to. There you go, as if you're going to explode hitting the post that slowly. I need to get on that junction, it's not letting me, so um, I've got problems. That fucking cop car is just sitting there, look. I need to get on that road and it's not letting me do it. I'm going to try again. Come on, start, turn. Ooh, ugh. This is a nightmare, an absolute bloody nightmare. And that fucking cop car hasn't let me alone since I started this pissing game. In fact, let's quit this go. And start again because that's bullshit right there I'm not getting anywhere so if, if Titus came to me and said what do you think of this game and that was the first thing I saw absolute wank I'd say complete wank material how the hell are you supposed to get in anywhere playing a game like that as you saw I got fucking nowhere so it might as well just quitted it and start again I 
and we try again. As you see, I need to get that junction on the right hand side and then the one on the left. Right, I'm hoping it's all back to normal. There it is again, the fucking thing. You don't even let me bloody get put. Start the game yet? Yeah? Fuck off. No! Ugh. Why have I put there? Where the hell am I? Let's check where I am. Yeah, why have they put a bloody barricade there? It's fucking cop cars. I haven't even started this fucking game. And already it's... <laughs> oh, what a pile of shit. I wait for him to go again. It's like I'm repeating myself with gameplay. I just wait and wait and wait. First junction on the right I need, which is this one. You've oh, you've only got to tap the joystick and you just ah uh, uh, whoa, control it. Whoa, get on this side. That's what I want. I want to get on there. Yes, right. Oh shit! Control system. God, it's just awful. It's such a shame because it looks visually, it looks a really nice game. It looks a very, very nice game. And I've got to take number 70 on the left. Nice uh, layers of colour there in the sky. The sky does change. It goes to night sometimes, another daylight and blue skies. And see, that was just absolute fucking ridiculous, that was. Once you nudge something, once you hit something, it's very hard to get the control back. That's what lets the game down. It looks good. And as I said, the title screen, the music was good. But apart from that, fuck off. Apart from that, um, it's shit. It's absolutely shit. No, I don't want that one. I need number 70. Right, I was trying to get it into a straight line. Right, I've got it straight. I've managed to control the car now. So I want junction oh, fuck. 70 on the left hand side. Now I can't remember if I've done all four levels. I don't know if it just goes on and on and on and on and on. No, that's not the one. Oh, I wasn't looking. See, you take your eye off the road. You're looking at the stupid little tiny display screen in the left, uh, top right hand side. And before you know it, you go into a fucking cop car. These cop cars are wankers. See, look. Fucking hell. It's ridiculous. I feel like just fucking ramming him anyway. See, that's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? David Fernandez, you're a fucking idiot for programming this the way you did. As you can guess, he was the programmer for this, that's why I said it. But that was him. I don't know if there was any of us involved in this game. Ugh. But you haven't got a fucking clue how to produce a racing game where you can control it properly. That's for sure. Thank God you wasn't on the Lotus 2 team. Where's this bloody junction? See, there's too many cop cars. Oh. No, 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 I'm lost control now, I'm not going to survive this. Oh, it's no, I'm not. Whoa, how the hell did I do that? Wow, that was, that was worth a flipping gold medal, I'll say. 70, this is the one I want. And it's a fucking cop car stops me. Which it fucking did! Sorry. And now I've got to try and get on that fucking road. Now the hell am I going to do it when I'm going to keep getting exploded? Look at him. Oh, fuck's sake. If I had a chainsaw, I'd fucking... Come on, let me on this fucking road. I need to get... Ah, I need to get on there to complete the stage, and I can't. This game is a pile of shit. It really is a pile of fucking shit. I'm still going to keep going over that way. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. I'm still going to try and fucking go over that side of the road. It's not letting me. 
And I can't do it now. I have to go a really long way. All thanks to that fucking cop car. See, I need to get on that road, and I can't. I can't turn onto it now. Fuck you, then. Here, right up the ass. Suck it. Fucking asshole. So look at this map. So I don't know where the hell I am now. I've gone right on to. I was supposed to turn there. I've now still on junction 15, and to get back on that road, I've got to go right round. Ah, oh, fuck that. There's no other way. There's no other way. Um, unless I can get off of. No, there's no other junction. I can't get off. It's fucking wank. Well, thanks to that fucking cop car. It's ruined the bloody game. And I can't get off this this road now. There, I can't. It's it's done. All right, I'll try one more. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit. Like I did before, because that's just bollocks, that is. So, yeah, not a very... Um, I can't even bother with my naming, because I'm disgusted. And the game itself looks really nice. It's very good graphics. It's very neat, smart. Um, some nice bloody Miami-looking sunset there. And an excellent loop on the channel. As far, uh, the music, the title screen. A cool-looking Ferrari F40. Already, look. Um... But apart from that, the game plays like a, a fucking dead dog. It's just horrible. You can't control it. It's not enjoyable. See, I've got... Come on, get over there. That's it. That's what I want. Slow down. Slow down. I don't want to keep crashing. Whoa. Oh, God, it's so horrible. At least Crazy Cars 1 was a lot easier to steer. You didn't keep dying every second. And now I need that Junction 70 again. So all I've got to do is just race like crazy, get past these fucking cop cars. And you know when they're coming, because uh, in the top right-hand corner is five... There we go. Oh, that's a, that's a trouble. There we go. Whoa. See those red dots? Three, four again. It's five. He's right on my ass again. You take your eye off the display, and you can't, you can't steer your car, you can't, you just, you can't recover. It's terrible. It's not fair. It, it, it doesn't give you a chance. See, there's another cop car already. What the fuck's all this about? Well, I know what it's all about. They're trying to stop me speeding, but come on. Give me a bit of space where this fuck will come in for once. So now I want junction 70 on the left and if there's a cop car nearby that junction I'm going to take it very slow and just nudge my way onto that road um, I don't know if it goes on forever I know there's four I, I know there's four different routes this is stage one there's four stages so whether there's a fifth stage after that I don't know if you look at the cheat uh, um, sites it will always give you the directions to take for the first four stages. So after you've done the fourth, I don't know. Um, I never got that far, probably because I've lost my patience with it. And um, maybe when I get a crack copy again, when I get infinite... Uh, is it time or lives? That was so dark, went straight into that. So tell me what you're trying to prove. He just fucking... He just stops me. Thank you very much. That's murder, that is. That's a fucking corrupt copper for you. You've just murdered me. For doing about 50 miles an hour. Let's just let him disappear. Fuck him. The only way you can do it is, is get enough speed up and overtake him. There he is again. Ah, got you that time, you fucker. Right, Junction 70. That's the one I want. This is where the bastard fucking... Oh, no, you fucking don't. Up yours. You. There we go. Okay, now I'm on this road. Even if I crash, I'm put back on it. So, hopefully... Um, 
I'll show you. Ah, uh, I've lost control. Once you lose control, you just very. It's hard to get it back again. You won't. So what I do now is I just stay on this road until it tells me I've completed the stage. Look at this fucking copper. Look, 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 look. You wanker. Fuck you. So now you just stay on this road now. And, um... Try and complete this stage. See, everything about it is alright. The skidding, the sound, the title screen, the graphics are nice. No, I'm not going to recover now. Oh, yes, I am. Bloody hell. But the game just plays like a shit piece. That's all there is to it. It's such a shame. Looks can be deceiving, and it certainly is in this case. So now we just keep our speed in a straight line, or just keep going until um, it tells me that I've done it, or just commit suicide like that. So hopefully now we can um, uh, get to the second stage. See, look at that. Look, 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 look. Look, that's murder, that is. Sorry. But you should be... You should be uh, um, put an electric chair for that, copper. Right, let's try and keep some speed up. You can keep doing that as much as you want. I've only got to stay on this road, so fuck you. It's a horrible fucking game to control. No wonder no one's got any time for it. I don't blame them. It's just tap, tap, tap with the joystick just to try and get it straight to control it. And if you can't, you're going to die. Pity. Very, very shame that is. I played it on Spectrum 128 as well. In fact, I've uploaded some of that footage. I can't remember if it plays just as badly. Right, this this should be it. Um, somewhere up here is the checkpoint. It's an invisible one. But I've... Uh, there you go. Congratulations. So that's the first stage done. Alright, thank you very much. And now we've got the second stage. So you start where you've finished. And now I've got to get right over there. So I need... This is where it gets... It starts to get more tricky. There's a few routes I could take. I could take 191 on the uh, right-hand side there. Then 666 on the left. Uh, but that seems a little bit more tricky. I'll probably start on row 70 and then take... Uh, yeah, I've got to work that out. Junction 50 on the right. Followed by junction 555. 550, sorry. Ah, it's very tricky. So 70, stay on this, and then just wait to number 50 on the right. So let's go. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play this. I can't remember if you uh, can go on forever or you just die. I don't know. I think when your time runs out, you, I, you get a time limit. I can't remember what that is, though. Because I can't... I'm looking at the top of the left-hand screen. Top right hand screen, the timer's going down, but I'm too afraid to take my uh, eyes off the screen because a bloody cop car comes along. So, number 50. Oh, see what I mean? That's exactly what I did. I was looking at that little display telling me to take the right, uh, the right left hand road, which I didn't want, and then a cop car just bloody turns up. Right, so I want. See, now I've got to go back to the map because I can't remember. Um. Junction 50, that's right, on the on the right hand side. So many bloody cop cars. So now we're having a slight screen change. I think it's getting a bit. Is it getting darker? You do get nighttime stages, and it doesn't just happen. It gradually fades into a certain colour scheme, which is quite nice. So as I said before, visually, graphic-wise, it's very nice. I didn't see that. That was 51. I didn't want that, did I? I want 50. I probably fucked up. That might even been the one I wanted. Let's have a look. Uh, no, that's one nine one. No, I want. No, no, that's fine. Keep going. That's not the one I wanted. Fifty, I wanted. Yeah, that display should have been a lot bigger, like the, almost as big anyway as the miles per hour on the or the kilometers an hour on the top right uh, left hand side there. It's just too small. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I feel like um, having a couple more runs and then just quitting. Giving it up is a bad... 
Look at that, for fuck's sake. Uh, yes, he's back on the road, well done. I mean, oh, that's all right. Yeah, it's right. When you get into a different state, it changes colour scheme. There we go. That wasn't gradual either, was it? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, that could be annoying as well. A little load like that, and, and it takes you, you know, you're back in full speed. That's the one I want. Get over there. Oh, no. No, I can't get back on there. I'm done. Yeah, fucker. That's annoying. 151. So that was the one I wanted. And now I have to go all the way to bloody Junction 25. Uh, which is still possible. We'll um, give it a go. Now we're getting into night time. Don't often see that on any uh, footage. But there you go. It does turn into night. Right, I wanna, let's change that again. I want to see what junction that's at. So I missed the one I wanted, 50 on the right. Now I've got to go to 285 on the right. Fucking hell. I said, you've only got to tap it. It's not like Lotus where you fall to the left, fall to the right. You just tap it any more than that and you go right off the road. Horrible. Sensitivity. Um, shit, was that the one I wanted? It was, wasn't it? Two. That's the one I wanted. Come on there, get on there, get on there, get on there, get on there. No, yes, yes, yes. So if I die now, that's fine. Right, okay, we're back on business. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's just so hard to control. It ruins the game. It could have been so much better. 285. It's so all the way down, and then I'll want. I'll want. What will I want? 160? Yeah. So that's what I want. I want 160 on the right after this. 160 on the right. Okay, 160. 160 on the right. Right, there we go. 160 on the right. Remember that, boys. There we go again. Fucking wanker. Oh, you just can't recover enough. And now I've got him right on my bloody ass, and he's going to fucking overtake me. There we go. Well, that changed bloody quickly, didn't it? See, look at this. I can't get past him. He's fucking me up. Ah, there we go. What happened there? I was in a straight line, it suddenly threw me to the right. I don't know what happened there. I forgot, boys, you didn't tell me what road I needed next. Um, 160 on, on the on the 160 on the right, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> you probably ain't got a fucking clue what I'm talking about, to be honest with you. Looking at that map's not exactly easy. Right, so we're changing um, States and everything. Oh, here we go again. See, oh, I pushed hard left, and nothing seemed. You know, it takes about two seconds for it to do anything, so you can't get out the way. This is not. If you want an enjoyable racer to play, for fuck's sake, stick to Lotus Two, or even Lotus Three. So it did it again. And I didn't. Even <laughs> Uh, I didn't even look at that. I didn't even look at that. I need that junction and these fucking cop cars are not letting me get there, are they? Oh, yes. Will it let me stay on there now? Because I got onto the road. You fucking... I don't want to go on that road. I'm just sitting there. Come on, let me stay on that road. Oh, fuck's sake. If I don't get on this road now, that's it. I'm um, 
quitting the game because it's just fucking bollocks. Yeah, there you go. I think that'll do for me. You can't blame me. It's utterly frustrating. Graphic-wise looks lovely. Title screen music, really cool loop. Game-wise, a pile of fucking shit. You can't steer it. It's just a, a playing a dead dog. Um, beauty is only skin deep in this game, uh, especially in this game. And as you can see, it's endlessly frustrating. The police cars just piss you off. And it's just not a fair balance of level or playability or control system. Um, the control system is just completely out the fucking window. So I think that'll do me for now. That's probably one of my least favourite Let's Plays I've done. I tend to stick to games I like. I thought I'd give it uh, a go because I remember the, the graphics were nice and the, and the title screen music, as I said, I, I liked. But the, do the game plays like a fucking sh uh, a, a dead dog and it's just not worth your time. It's utterly frustrating. Anyway, guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that Let's Play. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.